Hey Scorpio, how are you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general tarot reading. We're going to take a look at what messages are coming in for you guys for April 2024 for my Scorpios out there, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. You could be a Scorpio, your person, whoever you're thinking about or dealing with, your person of interest, right? Could be a Scorpio as well. Take it how it resonates, leave the rest. If you're looking for a personalized tarot reading, you're in luck. You can certainly go to my website or even Etsy um, because I have a sale going on there. Check me out if you want to book a reading with me, whether it be a video recorded or by Etsy message. I also have a line of my Tarot and Oracle decks. I make, design, create, and sell my decks. So if you want one of these uh, decks sent to you, you can certainly um, check me out on Etsy for that as well. All right, really existing. Let's take a look for my Scorpios. Like, share, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy these readings. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates. And let me know how long you've been subscribed to my channel. How long you've been kicking it here with me on YouTube. I appreciate your love and support. Always, always, always thank you so much. Scorpio, what's up? What's going on? Barely existing. What's going on? Messages for my Scorpio. Two cards. What is the challenge that they're facing? Um, let's get one right here. We have mirror reflection. Some of you guys, you're looking at yourself in the mirror right now, and it feels like there's something here that you're in deep reflection about, right? You're reflecting about your actions, the way, you know, you love, maybe your past relationships. Now, typically when I get this card, this is indicating a, a twin flame type of connection. So maybe there's a twin flame that you have. Maybe you question if this person is your twin flame. This could be that validation, that confirmation that it is, that they are your twin flame. Um, let's take a look. Let's see what else we can find out. Because typically you have that soul mirroring, right, and twin flame connections. And we have runaway and avoidance. So someone here has um, perhaps you know, kind of like ran away from the connection. I'm feeling they don't want to deal with it. And so they're running away. And that could be something you're dealing with right now. Someone is avoiding communicating with you. They're avoiding, um, you know, speaking their truth. They're avoiding taking action. Maybe you expected more of this person and it just feels like they disappointed you. We're going to see what they're avoiding. Maybe they're afraid to be vulnerable. Maybe they're afraid to open up to you. Maybe they're afraid to tell you the truth. Maybe they lied, right? There, there's something here that they're avoiding. So we're going to take a look at what that could be. All right, let's take a look. I'm definitely feeling to inflame my energy here with that card. There could be a lot of pushing and pulling, like tug of war between you and your person, Scorpio, right now. Some of you guys, this could be like a lot of fighting because we got the five of swords here. Uh, conflict disagreements not you know being on the same page then we have the world so yeah there can definitely be some like karma something unexplainable happening something here where the universe is in control right and you're having to just like surrender um let's take it nine of pentacles some of you guys are newly single right there's an energy of a death card an ending that you've recently experienced this could be your energy some of you guys are kind of an ending around the eclipse that happened in early april and there's something about it brought a lot of stress initially but a lot of you guys are working through it you're learning to find peace after some kind of great conflict or um ending right ending transformation that's happening and that's the thing right with endings the death card it's bringing transformation, right? It's not a true ending of something here, which it could be an ending of a chapter or a cycle, but it's not like the death, right? There's something that's changing with regard to partnerships in your life, Scorpio. Maybe there's a particular partnership that is changing, but um, we're going to see how it's changing because the Nine of Pentacles is suggesting a lot of you, you're, you're, you're learning to be content all by yourself. You're learning to just be okay with being who you are, being single, okay? Give me energy right now. Knight of Cups in reverse, okay? Temperance in reverse. A lot of you guys are being incredibly patient because someone here is not showing up for you in love and you expected them to. Someone you really care about, the Knight of Cups in reverse suggesting that they've run away from you or they're not in a place where they can openly express how they feel, right? And the Knight of Cups in reverse is telling me someone is emotionally closed off. So there could be some kind of love blockage right now between you and this person. And it just feels like, Scorpio, a lot of you are saying, you know what, I'm going to be more patient. I'm going to be understanding. I'm going to give this person the benefit of the doubt. I'm not going to jump to conclusions. I'm not going to act a hot mess. I'm going to control myself. I'm going to temper my emotions, right? 
um but it's very difficult and it does feel like this is someone that is very silent this could be someone that is intentionally like keeping things from you they may not want you to know how they feel um the high priestess could be a very secretive energy but it also could be them keeping a secret right or holding back a, uh, some kind of secretive thing it could be a secret person right so we're going to find out what this is all about. Only you know, Scorpio, how this resonates. But I feel like the energy between you and your person, Scorpio, is very discreet. It's like you and your person are kind of keeping sh hush. Okay, I'm getting like hush. All right, let's take a look at what's happening in the environment with your person, Scorpio. We have the four pentacles. So definitely holding back, extremely guarded. They're not giving in, right? They're not allowing you to see what's going on. They're not allowing you to connect with them. Ace of Swords in the verse, Nine of Cups in the verse, Seven of Cups in the verse. So this is someone, again, not communicating, not speaking their truth. They're really holding back maybe some kind of important piece of information from you. It's like they rather not talk. But the thing is, is that they're really unhappy, Scorpio. They're really unhappy where they are. They're not really fulfilled. Maybe they created this, right? But I, I get a sense that this person being very guarded, okay, and being very protective over like, you know, who they give in, who they let into their life, maybe emotionally. I feel like it's brought a lot of unhappiness to their life. And maybe they're getting clarity on that because the Seven of Cups is in reverse, I almost feel like someone is realizing how unhappy they are and there even could be some clarity regarding what they really want in love. I also feel like this is someone that has a lot of options in love, but they're realizing a whole bunch of options aren't really great options, right? It's quality over quantity, right? We all know that. So I feel like your person could have definitely been dancing, playing around, fooling around with other people and now realizing that that's not what they want, right? That's not truly what they want. You may even have had a fight or an argument with this person. We did get the Five of Swords pre-shuffling. With the Ace of Swords in reverse, there could have been some kind of really difficult communication between you and this person, Scorpio, which made you and them kind of like distance yourself. Because of that, they're, they're unhappy, right? Because it has happened, they're very unhappy about where things are. So let's take a look. Outcome, we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. The Star in reverse could be an Aquarius of Knight of Pentacles. So I will definitely say your person is not rushing to come back, but there is an energy of someone kind of building, building towards some kind of security and stability with you. So I do feel the night being the energy of pursuit. They will come towards you, Scorpio, but they're not running. They're not racing because, well, the Knight of Pentacles is a slow moving Knight of the Tarot deck. They're coming in, but they're very, very slow. And really it's because they want to take a more practical approach, right? They want to make sure they're doing things the right way. And so I do see an opportunity for healing with the star, but I feel like, you know, it's not going to happen right when you want it. And there's work to be done. And this is a true test to see how, how hard are you willing to work for this? How important is it? Is it of value to you? Because if it is, you'll work hard to recover and heal and, and, um, make things happen right because a star is all about is it your wish is it your desire is it what you dream of right so let's jump right in let's get some clarity if you guys enjoy these readings let me know let me know how long you've been here on the channel leave me a comment I appreciate you guys all right let's take a look mirror reflection and runaway avoidance let's take a look is it your person who's running away and avoiding a hot topic maybe yeah two swords in reverse so that's that's the challenge right your person may be getting out of their head maybe even making a decision i almost feel like a lot of you you want your person to own up to something and they don't want to and so they're kind of like distancing themselves right but there's a decision that they have to make and it feels like you both know what this decision is there's some kind of head of a heart decision um they're, they're being asked to make i want to say forced but asked to make and it's regarding you and them okay um, it could be letting go of something or making a decision regarding two people, two options. Give me the energy of the death with the nine of pentacles. Six of pentacles in the verse. Someone here may have not been ready to reciprocate or to give you what you needed. The wheel in the verse and the ace of pentacles in the verse. And because of that, things were not moving in the right direction, right? Scorpio, your person could have been, I'm feeling the energy of like acting single perhaps with the nine of pentacles not really invested in you for the long term and you could have felt that you could have felt energetically you know 
Their energy was somewhere else. You could have felt like you were not the priority. Six of Pentacles in reverse is feeling like you are getting crumbs, breadcrumbs, right? So with the wheel in reverse is suggesting that things were not moving in the right direction. And that is why something ended, right? Some change was needed. There was a change that was needed in order for things to move forward. So give me the energy right now. Why is this person so quiet? Well, the sun in reverse, that's confirming they're not happy. Nine of Wands, they do want to fight for this. Two Pentacles, but there's still some kind of uncertainty as to where they stand with you, as to what maybe they need to do. There could be, again, that decision they're having to make. Two of Pentacles, two Swords, it's telling me they're kind of all over the place, up in the air. Definitely confused with the Seven of Cups down here. Um, but the Nine of Wands is suggesting they're still willing to fight for you, Scorpio. They're still willing to perhaps um overcome something right as difficult as it may be but the sun in reverse suggesting they're not very confident maybe they're lacking direction they're not really sure how they can pull this off and it could be regarding making a love offer and so the high priestess are keeping quiet they're hushed they're silent regarding how they feel but it's only a matter of time this person is going to take action because well the temperance is here right all right what are they holding back we have the ace of swords in reverse they're keeping something to themselves they're holding back their there's the energy of like holding their tongue right queen of wands maybe there's something regarding a queen of wands a leo sag aries or a gemini with the lovers and a judgment in reverse someone here definitely could be holding back the truth regarding a third party regarding a leo sag aries or queen of wands energy maybe someone they had some kind of relations with there's a decision that they want to make, and it feels like there could be an undoing of a decision they made in the past that was the wrong decision. Why? Because the judgment in reverse is here with the lovers. So someone is recognizing, I made the wrong decision about you. I want to take accountability. I want to own up. This is my fault. I'm guilty, right? Um, because the judgment in reverse, I, I didn't choose the right way, or I didn't make the right decision regarding you. I made a bad judgment call. That is something that they're afraid to maybe communicate to you, but I feel like they know they have to, okay, in order to make a decision regarding you and them. Give me the Nine of Cups and the Seven of Cups. There's clarity here coming through. The Moon, the Knight, uh, sorry, the King of Cups in the verse, that's you perhaps, or your Divine Partner, and the Four Cups. So what I'm seeing here is that someone has a fear. There's a real fear, okay? Um of emotions, of letting people in, of going deep, right? The moon, death. And it feels like with all these cups here, someone really, really does care for you, Scorpio, but you wouldn't know because they're not really open to share that. King of Cups in verse could be the energy of holding back, being somewhat emotionally manipulative, okay? Um, and again, running away because they're afraid to connect on a deep emotional level. But they're also getting clarity here with the Seven of Cups in verse that in order to have a happy fulfilling loving relationship right that nine of cups energy you know they're maybe having to take action in love and do something that they're very uncomfortable doing right and there's something about here with the four cups they they don't want to truly miss out on true love or on a good loving partner they're gonna have to maybe do something that may make them uncomfortable something that they fear with the moon maybe even like overcome some kind of insecurity they have with that moon What's coming in, Knight of Pentacles, a slow moving night, Ten of Wands, and that's because there's still burdens and blockages. So you're going to find that Scorpio, things may not really move forward just yet. The High Priestess, very secretive, right? Your person's keeping to themselves because, well, the Ten of Wands, are still some blockages and um, barriers. There's still something you and your person has to overcome. But with the star card here, it feels like if you have hope and faith that something can still work. And if you continue to invest, right, eight of pentacles, show up, put in effort, something here can be victorious because the six of wands is here. Victory in the end, success in the end, right? Accomplishing something here. But it's very slow moving. So it tells me that something is worth it, but it's just not going to happen right away, overnight, okay? That is what I'm seeing, Scorpio. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how it resonates for you. And I'll check you guys out soon. Take care.